Around the world, it's harder for a girl to get to school. In many countries, girls spend their days working in the field or walking to get water instead of learning. In Jordan, home to 800,000 of the world's refugees, CARE is removing barriers so that young girls have what they need to turn into the leaders of tomorrow. I'm Annie Murphy, and I'm an actor from Toronto, Ontario. Like many North Americans who are inundated every day with tragic images of the Syrian refugee crisis, there are times I've been guilty of turning off my TV because I felt too sad or too helpless or too far away to make a difference. When my mom and I were invited to travel to Jordan with Care Canada, I saw that there was so much more hope and light in the darkness, making Jordan feel much closer than before. Not all Syrian refugees in Jordan live in the Azraq refugee camp, but roughly 36,000 of them do. Here, families fight for a better life and a brighter future for their children. Asma, at 17, is the eldest of nine children. She was the first girl in the camp to ride a bicycle. Riding bikes was considered to be exclusively a boy's activity, but despite bullying and ridicule, Asma forged a path for many girls to follow in her footsteps. Hey. I was invited by Asma and her two younger sisters to come over and meet their mother and father and six other siblings. What a talented family you've got going on, guys. There's more, she said. There's more, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. She's to be a pediatrician when she grows up. Yes. Around 22% of refugees in Azraq are under five years old. I'll never forget the stories of tragedy and the heartbreaking images I saw in Azraq today. But most of all, I won't forget that feelings of joy and hope reign triumphant. Hey,